My name is Andrea Bache. I'm an assistant professor in cropping systems at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and that's where we are right now. We're uh, on East Campus, which is the agriculture campus uh, here at the university. The idea that we had for this grant really grew out of this um, cap senior capstone course that I teach because I have um, about 30 students who are meant to work on a case study of an operation to help them solve some kind of agronomic or environmental um, challenge that they have. And so I thought, well, okay, that's what their task is over the course of the semester. Um, we have a lot of environmental challenges and um, there's landowners involved in these uh, situations that are maybe not being brought into those conversations. So really the idea for this grant was that, you know, I want to get more women landers involved. I have these students who are um, eager to learn about, you know, farm management and, um, you know, trying to bring all of those pieces together and incorporating the women landowners. I have always been interested in these human questions and policy questions of, you know, how do we increase the use of sustainable ag on the landscape. And so um, have colleagues who've done work with women landowners in the past and know that women own or co-own about half of the land in the Midwest. And they're often um, understudied or under kind of valued, I would say, in the conversation around conservation. And so I think that women can be a real gateway to having um, more conservation, more sustainable ag. My colleague, um, Dr. Angie Carter, is a rural sociologist and she's done a lot of research with women landowners. And so her role, um, given the experience that she has, is really to do the um, lead on the social science research. So we're interviewing uh, our three landowner uh, producer pairs in this project before we work with them on these um, farm improvement plans with my class. So we've interviewed them before we start that process and then we're interviewing them after the process. Not just the producer who is um, you know, spraying or planting um, or harvesting, who's making a decision about what's happening on those fields. It's, there's a lot of other people who are at play and I think that you know, immersing my students in this um, case study, or these case studies will be valuable for them to see um, that there are a lot of people who are involved in decision making and how can they approach some of those relationships um, more, um, with more experience and maybe more um, sensitively.